All right, today is May 26, 2019, um, and I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of this car, a 64 two-door hardtop. Um, started this car on May 14, 2018, so it's been about a year and almost two weeks from start to finish on this car. So I'm going to do a complete walkthrough underneath on the lift, and then we're going to do an outside uh, of the body. Um, so start off by saying this is all original sheet metal. Uh, no panels have been replaced on this car. Original trunk pan, floor pans, quarter panels, everything. Uh, the only thing that was replaced is the hood and the trunk. We'll get to that whenever uh, we do the outside video. I'm just going to do a quick little walkthrough here of all underneath. This is uh, coated in uh, SPI uh, oxide red epoxy primer. And... Uh, So this car is a frame off restoration, it's not, not exactly originally, um, got some modifications. Gas tank is also in epoxy primer, uh, the frame and the rolling chassis has been powder coated. It's got four wheel disc brakes, it's got MagnaFlow exhaust kit bolt together. All the suspension has been rebuilt, new bushings, uh, e-brake cable, brake lines, gas lines, everything that would go with the rolling chassis. Like I said, this is all original floor pans, inner rockers. car is very extremely solid probably the solid most solid I've ever worked on uh, it's a stainless magna flow exhaust like I say it's got a 350 turbo 350 transmission it's got a brand new uh, 350 crate motor new u-joints on the drive shaft Got a new front piece drive shaft, uh, new transmission pan, torque converter, coolant lines, starter, the whole nine yards. Four wheel disc brake, CPP 500 steering box. Tie rods, steering linkage, Sway bar linkage. Just going to do a bottom half of the body here. So I did the body work and I painted this car on a on a rotisserie. So the bottom half is it's pretty straight. I mean, you could be the judge for yourself. Skirts are reproduction. They fit pretty decent. So like I said, I wanted to get a video of it up on the rack. Uh, it's probably the last time it's going to be this clean. This car has about three miles on it since I've put it, uh, built it, put it together. Brand new tires, 175, 75 I believe. Remington white wall. Rear end's been gone through. So it's stock though, I didn't do any modification of that. Coil springs, everything's powder coated. Gloss black. Uh, it's got new old stock hubcaps on it. So I'm going to put it put it on the ground, get it off this rack here. 
Uh, wheel, well, wheel wells have been powder coated as well. Gloss black. Just going to get it down off this rack, give it a quick wipe down, and we'll do a walk around of the car. Alright, here's a walk around of the 64 Chevrolet, two door hardtop Impala. Um, built this car right here in my house, in my own shop, top to bottom. Um, it's the first time really videoing it or taking any pictures of it outside in the sun. We'll do a quick walk around here. It's a reproduction trunk. Uh, this is a shop line silver poly, I think, silver blue. It's got about three coats of clear on it, I believe. So we painted it here, did the body work here. It's all original sheet metal. Original fenders. The hood is also reproduction. So really the only sheet metal that was bought was uh, the hood and the trunk. Bumpers have been triple chrome plated. It's got reproduction bumper guards, front and rear. Side molding was reproduction. Fits pretty good though. It's got 327 badges, even though it has a crate motor. It's originally a 283 car with a power glide. Now it has a crate 350, turbo 350 transmission. Like I said previously, the hubcaps are new old stock. Bought those new. Show you inside of the trunk. Box braces are nice and solid. All original trunk shelf, original quarters. Well, that might cause a dent. To adjust the torsion bars right now they're in the medium stage and the trunk has a hard time staying up but I mean you get the idea you saw the video from underneath I'll show you under the hood let's show the inside first I guess it's got a Ciadella uh, I'm sorry cars one Cars 1 uh, interior kit, it's original, original pattern, floor mats, it's got padded dash. The cluster was taken out, all new wiring throughout the entire car, American Auto Wire. I did it tilt steering column, two-tone steering wheel, retro sound, uh, stereo, Custom auto sound, kick panels, Kenwood speakers. It's got a glove box liner. Haven't put the light in though. It's got a six-way power seat. Did the headliner myself also. Came out pretty good. I know I know the flaws on it, but uh, got a little critter in there. 
but uh, overall it's pretty happy with it. back ran out of storage space but it's like I said it's got all new wiring it's got a one piece firewall pad for heater delete need a pedal uh, brake pedal pad still but you get the idea it's got a six way power seat all the upholstery is new seat covers new carpets new floor mats Under the hood, it's got Shea firewall, it's got four wheel disc brakes, CPP 500 steering. That's a Crate 350 motor, it's a brand new, it's not rebuilt, not remanufactured, brand new, straight from the dealership. Edelbrock intake, four barrel carb, Newport engineering wiper motor, chrome booster, proportioning, master, powder coated uh, fan shroud, aluminum radiator. The wheel wells are powder coated, but then I painted the top sides to match. Fires right up. Power windows work as they should. It's got MagnaFlow dual exhaust. Now the sun's coming out, we can get the good idea of the paint. It's a heavy metallic silver blue. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this car. I'm doing a complete walk around of this car, mainly because I'm considering putting it up on the market. Um, I really want a 60 convertible. Uh, this will help me get there a lot faster, but you know, it's just an exchange of time and money, really. Could keep it and still build the 60 when I get one, but uh, that's where I'm at with this car. Brand new tires. This car has about three miles on it, mainly up and down my road here. I don't. It's not registered yet, but I do have a title in my name, Clear Texas Title. No bonded title, no salvage title, no funny business. It's in my name, signed by me. Or it will be this week at least. So I think this might be the last video I make for this car unless I start doing other stuff to it. Maybe airbags, maybe hydraulics. I'm not really sure. But, uh,. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. Um, took me a year and almost two weeks, about a year and 10 days from start to finish on this complete car. Did it 100% myself, you know, minus the powder coating and the chrome plating. Uh, had a couple friends come and help, my son come and help me. So, just wanna do this video to show you guys out there trying to build cars that it, it's definitely possible to do this at your house. It takes a lot of time, patience, tools, and space. But if you got that, you can learn how to do anything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the build and uh, stay tuned for more videos.